Boston Bruins prospect pool is not one that comes to mind when you're talking about the top in the NHL, but the Bruins have been making an effort to make this team have a better prospect pool and be considered to be one of those teams that may be dangerous in the future. And that's what the Bruins have been doing as of late with many names that we know already and some that many people have likely not heard of. We have to talk about some of these guys. I'm going to be talking about a few here today. One brand new one that I'm sure some of you guys may know, but I wouldn't say a lot, as well as Oscar Yelvik, a guy that we really are hoping to see a big year from him in Boston College. Before we get into all of this news, though, we do have a word from our sponsor here in this video, NordVPN. As you know, being a Bruins fan means keeping up with the games no matter where you are. Whether you're traveling for work, stuck at the office, or even outside of the country, you don't want to miss a single puck drop from the Boston Bruins, and that's where NordVPN comes in. Whether you're streaming the latest highlights or catching up on game replays, but you're still trying to protect your personal data while browsing, NordVPN has got your back. NordVPN allows you to securely connect to servers all around the world so you can stream Bruins games live without any restrictions. Plus, with NordVPN's top-notch security features, you can browse the web safely, keeping your personal information protected from all of those prying eyes that are out there. Want to watch a movie or TV show that isn't available in your country? With NordVPN, you can change your location and enjoy content from different countries around the world. With NordVPN's special Threat Protection Pro and Dark Web Monitoring, you get an extra layer of protection from unwanted malware on your device and will be notified if your sensitive personal information ends up on the dark web. Visit nordvpn.com Bruins and use our code to get an exclusive NordVPN deal plus four extra months. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. That's nordvpn.com Bruins. Thank you, NordVPN, for sponsoring this video. And with that, let's get into our first topic. Or I should say player here in this video. And that is a, a, one that nobody's really talking about that I haven't seen as of late. That's Tr Tr Christians Postadinsky. I do apologize if I pronounced that wrong. I believe that's what it is, but I'm not Swedish for a reason. So with this player, with this guy that not many have heard of, a big six foot six, 220 pound defenseman coming from Sweden, like I mentioned. And this is exactly the player the Boston Bruins like. This is the player that we know is a Boston Bruins style player. And he himself has said that this is the play style that he loves. He has a big physical game. He likes using his size. And that's one thing the Bruins really want to see continuing to add to this defense. And I'll pull up what we have right here now. Uh, kind of just a little breakdown facts piece from uh, Elite Prospects here. 19-year-old, as I mentioned, 6'6", 220-pound defenseman. Seventh round pick in the 2023 draft. I think he's going to have a really big chance with this team. Obviously, he's only, you know, 19, heading into the USHL this upcoming season. C coming from a uh, Forlunda junior team in a few playoff games with Frolunda last season, and I can see that his game adapting very well to the North American ice. He's a big guy, like I mentioned, a defensive defenseman, heavy hitter, physical defenseman, as you can see by the player types there as well. And him, he himself, like I said, mentioned that his game is going to only get better, and he thinks he'll be an even better player on the North American ice, that smaller ice that he's not familiar with too much, but certainly will, you know, take that into his own hands, be able to work with that, especially with his play style. And what we have here, I'll pull up our first quote. I do have a lot from him, so bear with me. He says, uh, this is a question uh, posed on the physicality. He says, yeah, I like it. When we play the USA or Canada, I like those harder games. And that's exactly what he's going to get for just about every kind of game in North America, especially when it comes to the country games. But even in the NHL, the AHL, that higher level of hockey, those games are games that you want to see like that. You want to see him have that reaction, have that uh, mindset playing in. And that's only going to continue with what he's going to see over these upcoming seasons as his competitiveness level um, in the leagues gets higher and higher. And even heading on to once again, he says, for my game, it's better on small ice. I go in and out of the corners faster. It's good for me. As I mentioned with that smaller ice and his his moment or his, his mindset and his whole game plan from what we're seeing in you know, the upcoming season, his plan for the future. He's very excited. It seems like that he's he's ready to learn. He wants more to learn. And even with that, going back to what he has to say about this is, they see him as a defensive defenseman who plays hard. I need to get better with my skating, and they're helping me with that right now. Their development guy, Adam McQuaid, and he has helped me a lot. He's a really good guy. And once again, another fantastic word coming in from our, our prospects about Adam McQuaid. He's a guy you want to have in this system, a guy who's been around this team, the NHL, every level of hockey, and he's going to help these young guys a lot. And I'm very excited to see 
what he has to bring to the table. And before we head on to discussing Oscar Yelvik, I do want to pull up the stats that we have here from Christian um, in you know his, his career so far, his very, very young career. As you see with the last season, playing in for London, the captain of that junior 20 team, put out 18 points in 46 games. For a defensive defenseman, you really can't ask much more. So I'm excited to see how his game develops in North America. It's going to be a big change for him, but with his attitude and everything facing towards it, he seems quite excited to get this going. And like I said, you know, we have a lot of prospects. And I'm sure many people haven't really heard of him, but this is a name that you're going to want to keep in mind. But as going on with this, you know, he's been in the development camp this most recent, uh, you know, offseason, I guess this current offseason, I guess we could say him and Yelvik are both on these teams, and he has a big breakout season coming. And with that whole development team, the whole development camp that we have from this Bruins uh, this Bruins roster system, there's a lot of promising players. And I will pull up uh, the the whole development camp. I know the names are there a, a bit small, but Yelvik and we have um, Christian there. It, it's just going to be a very good group. A lot of these names you're going to want to keep in mind. But with Oscar Yelvik, of the list that we have here, along with Dean Letourneau, Riley Duran and, and a whole bunch of other these and these other players. Oscar Yelvik is going to be the one who is going to take the biggest step in the offseason and heading into next season with Boston College. There's going to be a lot of improvements in his game from what we've seen most recent season and what we're going to see in the upcoming one. And what we have here, first of all, I just want to pull up the stats. You know, for those who are not familiar with it, it's one that I'm sure many uh, people are going to be excited for. And that's one thing that I can't wait to see what this next season will have to hold for his points. He took a major step up in the 2023-2024 uh, uh, season from the previous one in, extra, in only extra seven games for 42 points compared to his 17 the previous year. Not the most notable goal score, but that don't matter. You know, the Bruins aren't going out and trying to get people who just score goals. Oscar Yelvik is a special player that really can do just about anything you want him to on the offense. And as I've, as I mentioned just a minute ago, this upcoming season is going to be one that is going to be very big for him, not just him himself, but it's his future. You know, what's going to happen after this, this season at Boston college, could he get a deal? And this is going to be the opportunity that he can certainly ink this upcoming one. And with that, here's what we have uh, from a few player, a few, few um, reporters kind of discussing who the most improved player they thought from Boston college was. And you can see, um, Oscar Yelvik made a huge jump this season. You can also see his numbers, but his speed and hockey sense really shown as well, as well as right in the bottom. Oscar Yelvik, simple as that. Many people on the Boston College or system, uh, you know, critics, r reporters, everything from the Bruins, from the Boston College organization, a lot of a lot of people are really expecting him to take another massive jump in this offseason um, coming up into the next one. So, like I said, we're going to have a lot of people here coming in to watch these guys from all around. We're going to see a lot of eyes on him, and that's one that you're going to want to keep your eyes on as well. It's going to be a very big season for the Bruins prospects, not just these two, but all of them as a whole. There's a lot of big things that the Bruins are going to try and move into the next few seasons, so I'm excited to see. Let me know what you think about these guys here in this video. We got some pretty important stuff coming up for the Boston Bruins uh, organization. Still waiting on that swimming extension, but a lot more prospects are going to be really in that spotlight here over the next few months as we head into next season. So if you don't want to miss it, make sure to hit the sub button. Join me here as we cover everything the Boston Bruins have to offer. But I'm signing out. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. See you later.